horseman who gives the best advice? Pete Wavell. To me, the horseman that gives uh, the best advice is my dad. Uh, you know, he's been through it all. He's uh, raised horses, he's broke colts, and he's uh, driven, trained. Uh, he's given me uh, great advice uh, throughout my career. Father, Lord Abbott. Bill O'Donnell would be right up, ranked up there for me. Um, an old friend of mine from years ago, Andre St. Amour, uh, Jimmy Lancaster. Um, those would be about the people. They gave me a lot of advice when I was younger, uh, Jimmy Lancaster and uh, Andre St. Amour. But uh, knowledgeable and, and stuff that I sit that back and talk to is, is Bill O'Donnell. Uh, you know, I respect, uh, there's a lot of horsemen out there, I respect, um, I would have to say probably uh, enjoy talking to Bill O'Donnell and uh, you know, kind of my idol growing up. Uh, you know, Randy Waples probably gives you good advice after he you drives your horse. Luke Willett's always taken me aside and kind of put me under his wing when I first got here and he gave me a lot of advice and a lot of tips and stuff like that, so I'd have to say Luke. I give pretty good advice, pretty sound advice. Like, way better than fortune cookie advice. I would say the best advice... Uh, yeah, it depends what you're looking for. I mean, uh, best financial advice, Mark or Trevor Ritchie. Best advice on women, definitely not Doug McNair. Uh, best advice on driving... I don't know, it depends who you ask. Best advice in general? Ah, I mean, Paul McDonald's a pretty straight shooter. He's a good guy to ask. Well, I wish Bill Welwell was still around. There was a man who had his head on straight. He'd know how to handle our situation, especially where we are right now. Uh, he was never far off the mark in any regard, business, horse-wise, conditioning a horse, trotter or pacer. I would say, I would say well. The horseman that gave me the best advice it would be uh, Bill Wellwood, I would say, and like I say, another Hall of Fame name, of course, but he was my mentor for, well, a few months. Anyway, I worked for him for almost almost a year, but I learned lots in that year, I'll tell you, working for Bill Wellwood. Roger, may I? Ah, probably your father. <laughs> yeah, I mean, him and I have been friends for a long time, and uh, um, I give him advice. He's gave me a lot of great advice, so yeah, I'd say Roger. The horseman that gives the best advice, uh, Jeff Gillis seems to have a handle on the entire industry. You know, he has two young boys and uh, he's raising them up to be uh, athletes and uh, has a good handle on the on, on the world and uh, the world of sports and, and our industry and also uh, being a dad and stuff like that. So uh, I think you know he, he he's a and he's a hell of a horseman. So I, I think he gives uh, some great advice. Uh, I like to take advice from my brother, uh, Ray, my father. Well, horsemen are great at giving advice. Um, <laughs> that's a good question. Man, get in the line. <laughs> horsemen that think they give the best advice or horsemen that I think give the best advice? You. Um, you know, I, I, I talk to uh, Carl Jameson. I talk to Carl a lot. Phil Pinkney, I talk to a lot. Um, you know, there's, it, like I say, it's, there's no single person, but both those guys are good, to, good, they've been good to me, and they've given me good advice, and like I say, it's no trouble getting advice at a racetrack. It's, <laughs> there's lots of advice. I mean, Mac and Al, uh, Mac and Al and I are on the same page when it comes to training young horses, and driving young horses, and racing young horses, and him and I usually chat, and it's more of a give and take thing with him. Um, but you know, it's hard to hard to go against his recommendations when it comes to driving a horse. When he gets off the bike and ends the lines, he, how he sums the race up is pretty close to how it it probably is. So that's that's what I look for. Well, that's a lot of them give a lot of it. Well, the first one they give me the best advice would be our Porter. Ed Hensley. He told me I was going to cost myself a lot of money. I would say old Bill James. Ron Waples. I've been lucky, you know, my brothers are both pretty good, you know, if they saw me do something or uh, something I shouldn't have or uh, really uh, 
they, they've always been there to help, you know, and uh, they've been very good, whether it be right or not. Uh, other than them, believe it or not, uh, Rick Zeron's been pretty good to me. Like, he's, you know, he's, uh, I've made a few mistakes maybe when I first went to Mohawk or when I first went somewhere else, and he was, he was really good about it and, you know, tell me, give me a side and tell me what I did wrong. Or, or when I used to train a lot of horses, he was always, uh, you know, he was always a voice in his opinion or if I had a question to ask him, he would help me. I would have to say it's Brent McGrath. Um, I always seem to talk to him about horse-related stuff, and he always has, has a keen eye on things and a very good perspective of things, so I take to heart quite a bit what he has to say. I think it depends on the situation. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, we're definitely uh, as much of a, as even though we're competitors on the track, you know, there's definitely camaraderie. And, I mean, I think that there's a lot of times we're all bouncing uh, ideas off of each other. And, and uh, it's amazing how sometimes you can talk to somebody and ask them a simple question or throw something out there, and they give you the most simple answer, and you go, why didn't I think of that? I mean, you know, and I think that, uh, you know, different aspects of people, uh, Linda Toscano and I, you know, we talk a lot about our horses and this, that, and the other. And uh, I think that uh, given the situation, I think anybody can give you some advice you've never heard before. And it just all of a sudden, hearing it from somebody else, it makes perfectly good sense. So there's a lot of them. Everybody wants to help everyone. Um, I, my, my dad always is, you know, I'm sure everyone's dad always helps them. And my dad always gives me as much advice as he can because he's, he's been doing this for 40 years. The ones you ask, the ones that offer usually aren't very good advice, but... Uh... There's been numerous ones for, for me over the years, uh, way back to Bill Carroll and uh, Ray Morrow. They were very good horsemen, and uh, used to get a lot of tips from those guys. They, they were excellent horsemen. Well, Paul McDonnell's a very smart individual. He always has something helpful to say and, and can always help you in, the, in your day-to-day -day issues because he's got a lot of great horse, horsemanship and horse knowledge all around. The horseman that gave me the best advice was uh, Bill Herbert. Uh, he was a, he turned into a great friend of mine. I worked for him for years, and uh, he was a, he was a big mentor for me. My brother Murray Brether, a few of those fellows, good trainers. To tell you the truth, I get to talk to Tim Tietrick very very few times when I drive when he drives in the stake races here, and I, I like hearing what kind of advice he gives just from a driver's perspective, and he's my idol. So uh, I like to hear what he has to say about other uh, other driver's opinions and uh, how it is driving for him on the racetrack. Well, I used to be my dad. But he died uh, 11 years ago. I was probably my, uh, my brother. <laughs> I have been surrounded by my mentors, Mike Lachance and John Campbell, and uh, these guys are such professionals that um, I was fortunate enough to work for both of them. And... Um, they have helped me through some pretty tough times and taught me so much that um, I, they're unparalleled as far as I'm concerned. Well, it'd be my dad. He's, you know, I'm not anywhere in my life unless it was for him. You know, he's given me the opportunity to be where I am and give me the drives to drive down here and drive with some of the best drivers in the world. So uh, it'd have to be my dad, that's for sure. Well, there's a lot of guys giving me a lot of advice in the drivers room. It's good to listen to all them guys. Not all of them, but it's good to listen to some of them. Definitely my dad gives me a lot of good advice and my mom, so it's definitely what I would change. You know what, I'm going to say a uh, guy that's not here all the time, uh, Marco Mara. Marco Mara's giving me the best advice. He works for me in Florida, actually, and obviously at Jay Bell and some mm -hmm. great courses, but uh, Marco Mara's giving me the best advice. I have a lot of friends in this business, being in it for 30, 40 years, and you get to know a lot of people, and it is amazing how the community of trainers and drivers, you can talk to almost anybody. And they and they'll, and they'll help you out, and that, uh, it's really nice that they uh, they work with each other that way. Even though we're competitors, everybody likes to see everybody else do well. I think you have to listen to everybody. I, th I think that you have to remind yourself to listen to everybody, because you can learn from everyone. There's if if you're not learning and continue, continue on learning all the time, this is probably not the business you should be in. There's there's more to learn always. Uh, I, I, I listen to a lot of people, you know, the, there's a lot of things I don't know yet.